when we bought the New England club, I, I could see that we were going to make around about 120,000 pounds worth of tax savings. There or thereabouts, okay? Uh, and we guesstimated we were going to make about 300 grand profit. So because we were going to save over 100,000 pounds in tax, it was worthwhile us paying more for the property to buy it because there was more at the back end, if that makes sense. So the guy who was selling, and again, this is also a true story, the guy who was selling said 500 grand. And I thought, and it's in a pretty good location near my, my office, and I thought two things, I can either try and negotiate and somebody else will come in or may come in and buy it, or I pay him 500 grand and buy it, and we're going to obviously save on all, all, all the different taxes. So we just paid the asking price. So what that does is, it allows you, gives you the opportunity, okay, to be able to pay more for a deal because you see something other people can't see. So you might see that piece of land and think, oh, I remember Shah was talking about, okay, do a JV, okay, with, with your company, have an overage agreement, okay, or have a, or exchange contracts, the uplift goes into my own name, I'm going to pay 20% tax, working all that out, that's an extra 70, 80, 100 grand, depending on the size of the deal. So I don't mind paying asking price or paying 20, 30,000 pounds extra because I'm going to make more money in the back end anyway. Yeah. What you'll be pleased to hear and disappointed at the same time is most people don't think like that because generally speaking, as property investors, and I know this better than anybody else because I'm like this as well, more than not, is we're thinking, how can we screw the least amount possible? And that's the first thought that goes into my head. How can I pay the least amount possible? Because I want to maximize my return. But this here helps you think the other way around. Where you think, what else am I going to save so I can pay for this deal here and make sure I get it and nobody else gets it? Exactly the same thing happened with Boston with his 40 houses. They asked for 350. I said, I'll pay you 350. It's only later it transpired that outline planning was going to expire on the 14th of May this year. So I had to go back and say, hold on a moment, this isn't what I thought I was buying, you failed to, to share this with me, so now for me to pay for the planning and get it through quicker, I've got to pay extra money, so you discount it by £35,000. Yeah? But I knew that, that the deal works, so I went for it. So on this, so this masterclass, I don't do many of these, I know Amrik has been on one and uh, Keith and they might share uh, some of their uh, a few minutes, but I only run about two or three of these a year, so this isn't a monthly thing. The next one is the 21st and 22nd of March this year. The one after that is the 6th and 7th of June. What better place to have it than here? Okay, uh, that's because I'm local, these guys are local, and you just got to travel in, uh, and uh, we'll spend two days together going through quite a few different aspects of property.